It's the 3.0 shakuhachi, the super flute of shakuhachi. 3.0. Well, that's three shakus. One, two, three. It's 39 inches long. So most of my flutes are definitely only about half as long. And uh, they're relatively easy to play once you learn how to play the shakuhachi. But not this one, um, because the holes, okay, the thumb hole is here. Yes, it has five holes, the shakuhachi. Okay, here we go. Here's hole number number four, number five, number four. <laughs> number three is off on the side here. Okay, I had to put my finger here to reach it at the beginning, but now my hands are stretching a bit. Okay, so there we go. Okay, I found hole number uh, two on this side, and hole number one is down here. And then when I blow it, I don't get a sound because the slightest misalignment, a little air comes out, you don't get the note. This is a piece of bamboo. It's made by Chinone. He's extra careful about having very solid wood that's dried for a long time. But he still developed a little craft and put some fine flush bindings with red urushi over them. And he put a, uh, Chinone put some pins to a line. Um, and you're gonna need those pins because I was trying to figure out if I can adjust to get around them, but uh, I think that I'm gonna go with uh, the uh, boot master's recommendation and, and align it in this crazy position. Look at that. And so here we are with the uh, incredible markings. This is the wear and tear you see in the forest. It has a lot of character. It can be a dangerous flute to play. My friend heard himself last night when we were looking at this flute. We were playing it. He pulled a muscle <laughs> reaching here. So how do you relax enough to play the shakuhachi? And this takes me back. I have to say, this takes me back decades to when I was trying to get a sound out of my first shakuhachi. And uh, I struggled I, for hours. I finally, now I've had this for about a month. I've been trying to play it every couple of days. And now the sound, that's the best I was able to do. Now the sound is finally coming. So, am I up to playing my first piece on the shakuhachi, on the 3.0 super flute? Uh, I hope so. So if I do, I'll use it in the background of a, of a, tra a soundtrack. Uh, maybe I'll do a performance for you on, online, and maybe uh, uh, in the spring uh, we'll do something live. So, the super flute. Uh, good luck with the shakuhachi. And, you know, shakuhachi has been made as long as possible for as long as they've been around. I mean, you know, if you don't have holes on them, you could really blow something longer than this because you don't have to worry about the holes. But a real shakuhachi with those five tones, it's really limited by how far you can spread your fingers out. And if I had bigger hands, I maybe I could play better. I'm sure I could play better. But uh, this is where the fun is. So pretty much this is where it ends. There's probably a 3.1 out there in the world somewhere. But uh, this is the 3.0. Hope you enjoyed this peek at the strange corners of the Shakuhachi world.